Okay, so I'm down Downfold Ave, which is just off Beverly High Road, um, just after Tesco's and Skoda. And what I'm going to be doing is showing you the A1033 test route, okay, as in following signs towards the A1033. Now they might put this on sat nav or they might just get you to do this uh, following the signs. Um, entirely up to them. Try and pull out, it's just left on sat lane, isn't it? At least like this, as soon as you possibly can do. Um, and then as soon as you start seeing these signs, for the signs for the A1033, following directions and moving over safely into the right hand side lane. Now, the right lane has a right arrow on it. And, no, this doesn't mean turn right, you know, into oncoming traffic. As you can see, the middle lane also has a straight on arrow following the road ahead. It doesn't mean go straight on, it means follow the road, follow your lane ahead safely. As you come in, try not to go over the white mark, hatch markings on the right hand side, but if you notice, there's now a right arrow in that lane, okay? You can't turn right from that lane, it actually means, that you, have, you know, it's actually for going down here towards Beverly. And as I pass, that last exit before the one I want, I'm signalling and moving over into this left hand side lane. Now I don't know why they've put a right hand side turn arrow onto a road that's going straight on. Okay. There's been a few instances just recently of them the Hill City Council and the Highways Agency saying, you know, we've been following national guidelines to just go, you know, with straight on arrows, you know, arrows that are pointing straight up. So, God knows why, like I said, you can't really turn right from that lane, or you shouldn't turn right from that lane, because where it says it's going, the actual numbers on the road, the, the what's written on the road, it differs from the actual arrow. Use the right hand side, obviously check on your left hand side mirror as you're coming off, if there's somebody coming up on your left hand side, come off in the right hand side lane and then move over. Not like what this guy did, just move over like, straight away and come off in the left hand side lane. Now, the next roundabout is a right turn. They may say to you, as you're coming up to the actual sign, to move over into this lane, as you possibly can do. You've not done anything wrong. They're basically simply saying that, you know, because of the trees and foliage and that lot, you can't really see the sign. So they're telling you nice and early, okay? Be aware to where traffic coming from both the right-hand side uh, and the, well, what's, you know, the, the one before that to its left. Cars could come round in both lanes. Case in point, these two cars in front just there. Take your time. If you don't think it's safe to go, don't go. Um, stay in the next to the roundabout, obviously, and mirror, mirror, as we approach on that second exit signalling as we're passing it. Straight over into this left hand side lane. Be aware you've got a crossing straight ahead of you, straight away. So, be aware as you're coming off that, looking down the road before you start accelerating, really. Now, impress the 
be the uh, examiner. The examiner doesn't want to see how, you know, the, uh, anything other than you're driving safely and confidently. Don't try to impress them. Drive. Drive how you've been taught. If you do everything correctly, then you're going to pass. If you go the wrong way but do it correctly, you're still going to pass. If you go the right way but do it incorrectly, then you won't. After that long stretch just before that, just I was talking about that, there is a 30 sign. Make sure that you're at 30 before the sign. Okay. It's one of those where you, you know you, you have to be at the speed limit before you enter into the zone. Okay. And as we're going down here past the uh, Annadale on our right hand side, sometimes the bushes hide the sign that you're supposed to be in this left hand side lane. If you can't see as you're approaching, treat all these junctions like they're a red light, okay? Slow down and keep slowing down until you get up to them. As you can see there, I kind of just slowed way down and then came to a crawl as I was approaching, one or two miles an hour. Slow down before the jump, before you get to it. Now just here, like now, 40. It's only just turned 40, so I can only go 40 once I'm past that sign. They may get you to pull up on the left hand side down here. Now we're coming up to uh, Sutton Fields roundabout, okay, and I have done a video just on this particular roundabout to 10 right which will be what we're doing because we're following the A1033 road signs. Try not to block this road up um, for any traffic vehicles coming in you know from your right to 10 in front of you. Always make sure that you can get into that gap and still give adequate clearance to the vehicle in front before you start moving forward. Move checks and over into that right hand side lane as early as you possibly can do. And keep that distance in front of the vehicle in front. As you're coming up to it, don't get too close. Still be able to see the, uh, the bit of road surface in between you and the vehicle in front and their tires, bottom of their tires. Let them move off before you start going. So you can still see the road, the information that's written on the road. As we come around here, stay over near these white markings on the right hand side of me. And then just as I'm coming through, into that middle lane. Very signaling. As you're passing the exit you want. Again, looking for um, people waiting to cross, looking to see whether or not anybody's pressed that button. Don't start accelerating until you know it's safe to do so. This runs a 40, just like the other one, we get us at 40 miles an hour as soon as you can do. If you did come off in the right hand side lane, try and get back off into the left hand side. Okay. Otherwise, you would be marked down for uh, position normal driving. Supposed to stay on the left hand side as much as you possibly can do. Right hand side lane is for going uh, overtaking and turning right. And again, we've got a 30 mile an hour speed limit. Check what's, what's going on behind you. Ease off the gas as you're approaching, slowing down, braking if necessary. If you did it early enough, then you should come down to 30 miles an hour as you get up to it. As you're passing the crossing, into that middle white line, white line, and then staying in next to the kerb. Taking your signal off before you come to uh, Glebe Road just here. Following the A1033 road signs, the 
until they tell you otherwise, okay? Don't necessarily assume, okay, that they're gonna be getting you to go back towards test center. They might be getting you to just go straight on and see how you do with this roundabout. Next roundabout, I'm going to go right and come back upon myself. I'm just easing off the gas at the moment because there are some police coming up behind. Okay. Popping that signal on nice and uh, early to let people know behind so that they're going to, I'm going to go and overtake it. Yeah. As you come around this roundabout, you can. As you're passing this exit, come back off into the left hand side lane. Now it's different from if you're coming from um I've forgotten the name of the road. But you can do it. We're gonna be going left. this roundabout and at this point that I've already told you that you've stopped following the uh, signs and they'll give you directions from now on Keep your cool, go when you can do. Nice little bit of engine revs as we come through here, making sure that you're not gonna stall as you get onto that last little bit. Through the checks as you're coming in, to the left hand side, into the test centre. Nobody in here, so I'm not too bothered about anything. And they may get you to pull forwards into a bear or reverse into one. They get you to pull forwards into a bear. Don't worry about if the fact if you don't end up in the bear correctly or you're over two bears or or whatever. Because at, at that point, the test more or less over and done with. Just don't hit the cab. I'll go too fast and end up scraping the um, test centre. Okay, I hope that bit helps. See you in the next one.